Testing, one, two, three. Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Good morning. How are you? I'm Kill the Vid, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And today, it's the second gaming live stream walkthrough of GTA Online Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC. Originally released yesterday with a recent update to Grand Theft Auto Online. I play the role of Bounty Hunter, even though my avatar is still a criminal. And we go after bounties, or in this case, people who have skipped bail for whatever reasons, which are many ridiculous and stupid and reasons, and they do the most uh, drastic measures to avoid apprehension so yesterday to recap unless you, in case if you have not watched yesterday's debut live stream because i had not live streamed for a while because i had internet related issues didn't know if i was going to come back on or not but i'm back as you can see and if you like the new interface how do you like it you like my new uh stream package let me know in the comments anyway this is the second episode gaming live stream walkthrough of GTA Online Bottom Dollar Bounties. As I mentioned, I was about to mention in the previous stream, I got the most wanted bounty, brought her back alive, Grace Whitney, successfully. Whereas the small potatoes bounties, I accidentally killed one of them in the Biker MC Club. I fired off an RPG and killed everyone un and unexpectedly and unintentionally killed the bounty target. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let me fix my light. <laughs> hopefully, as I said, hopefully that doesn't happen again. But I did do that with the second avatar off stream. So we're actually going to continue with the second avatar who had got the bounty hunter bail bonds business so without any further ado grab your snack grab your drink grab what you need it's time for let's play classics featuring grand theft auto online the bottom dollar bounties dlc right now on the nine to five outlaw does gaming youtube and twitch channel here we go By the way, this is one of these Arizona beverages. It's got natural caffeine in it. Since I'm out of coffee creamer. And normally I caffeinate with coffee. So, give it time for the screen to boot up. How's your morning going? No. With the second avatar, I noticed that I didn't have a police vehicle, a decommissioned law enforcement vehicle. So I could do the dispatch work. So I decided to bite the bullet and purchase 
the Dorado Cruiser. LSPD Cruiser, you know, the police SUV, which you're about to see. And I even decked it out and customed it to my uh, liking. I hope you like it when you see it. But at least with that, I'll do dispatch work because the first avatar that I have, the female avatar, I had the Bravado Gauntlet Interceptor, for, which was in released in the part of the Cluck and Bell, the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid DLC, where Vincent Effenberger lets you in on a secret drug distribution, manufacturing and drug distribution operation operating out in Polito Bay. And your reward is being able to buy the Bravado Inter Gauntlet Interceptor, which is basically the Dodge Challenger Hellcat, only it's made into a, like a police cruiser in game. And I figured why not have a police SUV that's at least, at least of good quality. And by the way, when you see the vehicle, you're going to be amazed with what I got for it, especially when it comes to the police beacon sirens. When I chose those, I was blown away by the graphical visual effects of them. As you're going to see, you're gonna probably going to love. So as I found out, when it comes to the next drip fed content, which is probably not going to happen on Thursday, I don't think, but possibly next Thursday, if not Tuesday, you're going to get a new weapon. And it's like a, a stun baton, almost similar to uh, Demolition Man, if you've seen the film with Sylvester Stallone, where in the near future... A lot of stuff is banned and when it comes to police apprehension of criminals they use a baton that just knocks them out cold and less violent anyway I'm gonna get to a private lobby See, this is my second avatar, a male one. So, I respond in the bail office. How you doing? You, uh, listen. You can respond in the bail office is when you purchase uh, living quarters, when you uh, buy the business. So, my safe is filling up, and that's due to, in part, sending off my uh, bail enforcement officers to go pick up some bales and that's how you fill up the safe whereas when you do the bound the physical bounties yourself that's when it goes directly into your account now it's obvious that the uh, the safe will probably cap cap out at a hundred thousand dollars GTA dollars of course or 250 thousand GTA dollars because if you look at the size of the save see this is a little safe here it's likely that you can only store up max cap at a hundred thousand GTA dollars before you have to up the out the save and that any additional money would be added because the dollar sign on the mini map is going to turn red, which will indicate max capacity. To which case I would have to empty out the safe 
in order to have receive additional funds. So there's that. I'm trying to see if I can need some additional snacks. Cognitive and annoying, but very useful. And I've noticed that most of these uh, secondary characters, uh, what do you call supporting characters, in GTA Online, they are much more annoying. I mean, they they are their own characters, but at all the same, most of them are annoying. They're probably like people you interact with in real life that you can't stand, but you're forced to have to work with if you think about it. Yeah, you know some. I know some. Hey, I can be annoying too. For all, for all I know, I'm probably annoying the shit out of some of you here. But it's okay. You wouldn't be watching my stream now, would you, if you were annoyed by me? Hmm? Now let's go put these bail agents to work. Sure. They almost look like Avon... Hurts his clothes. You know, Vaughn Mark sure. went on a dating site. She thought he was catfish. True. Need something? Yeah, to shut your trap. <laughs> oh, before we start doing some additional missions. Oh, by the way, I got some new bounties. And I should bet you that you'll get a new set of fresh bounties, like within the GTA, I guess, within a GTA hour or an IRL hour. But when it comes to new bounties that are the most wanted, I think it's a GTA day. It's, yeah, it's the likelihood of a GTA day that they will, yeah, that they will refresh. Or that is after you caught the first one. In this case, it was Grace Whitney from the last stream. I did successfully captured her with some help off stream. But anyway, let me show you the garage. What I got for this character? Oh wait, the vehicle's out in the road. Well, let me go get it. Now, for the secondary vehicles, you cannot do custom changes in there except storing them. You have to either go to your private garage or auto shop in order to do the custom work. The only thing you can mod out, which you really can't, except for putting armor plating and changing the color of the bottom of the uh, of the, the class van, which you use to pick up bounties. Hey, what's up, man? That's the only custom work you're, you're limited to, but you can't customize any other vehicle. Unfortunately, which means you can't customize your new police vehicles. And speaking of which, here it is, right here. You like? You like? I like. So this is the Dorado Cruiser. It's all decked out in black. And you can do dispatch work when Vincent will speak to you on the uh, CB radio. That is if you're willing to do work. Watch what happens when I put on the beacon. See that? Now when you do that, you're going to get a call from Vincent. Asking you if you are available, if I'm available to do any dispatch off the book's work. Anyway, let me go into game mode. See that? You can see how the police siren lights are coming on. How they're animated graphically. 
Oh, that's so cool. Look at her. Did they? Look at the interior. Officer, your immediate assistance is required to recover footage that could undermine the LSPD's highest ranking officers. It would be devastating if it found its way into the public eye. Are you available? And this is how you accept. Copy that. You should have coordinates coming through. This was the last known location. Oh, not far from Okay, me. this one is, me. I hope, uncomplicated. The LSPD are trying to keep this incriminating footage hush hush. Must be something bad to have them so concerned. Find it. Collateral on these assholes at the station is something of a comfort to me. In other words, he wants you to grab the footage. He wants me to grab the footage so that he can out the LSPD when it comes to corruption and the abuse of authority. And scan, you know, in this case, scandal. That could bring down the department. This is this is what's making Vincent Effenberger, that's his last name. Get her like a schoolgirl. Because he so badly wants to take down the LSPD because he's seen firsthand the corruption on their on most of their part on the part of most of the officers. The abuse of authority and so on. So it's beneficial that I do get this incriminating evidence. And since it's out the books, whatever I do isn't whatever I do it isn't gonna come back and bite Vincent in the butt. And there is not necessarily gonna be any legal ramifications because knock on wood the LSPD are not acting legally. Get it? Of course you do. Try to put somebody down. Get a whiff of this gas. Get a whiff of this. Run! Yo, get up! Hey, you all right? Pop them and drop them. Here we go. Let's make sure I leave the evidence intact. You don't belong here, Mark. Who got clapped? Ballers, man. You. you. That's who. Stop balling, won't stop balling.
you can do these missions by yourself for the most part. Bye-bye. Unbecoming. straight to Vincent. Oh wait, Jorge. Each of these dispatch missions are 25 grand. Each. If you do five of them, you'll unlock the trade price. I suspect to find some satisfying headlines in tomorrow's paper. You, on the other hand, can find your pay in your account. Let's go get some more armor. When the government goes rogue, you'll need one of them. I'll bet you'll be ready to use that the second you get out the door.
Time to get back on the job and catch the most wanted Bonte for today. I wish I now, I think, mind you, if you were playing this DLC all day, the most wanted Bounty will replace itself and refresh with a new target. But every in-game hour in GTA Online, you get a new set of small potatoes bounties that are, of course, paying a lot less, less than three times the amount of that of a most wanted target. But it's still money, no matter how little and penny ante it is. The payout may be. See who's been naughty. Here we have his Cleo song. Oh, a Vinewood actress. <laughs> if the name doesn't ring a bell, I don't blame you. Not exactly a big household name, but you know what'll get her in the headlines? The tax fraud charges she's running from. So she's a tax cheating celeb. Most wanted. Song. So, Miss Cleo Song's on our hit list. Yep. The Cleo Song. The Vinewood Star. And it just so happens she's got a shoot right here in LS. Lucky for us, unlucky for her, all we have to do, all you have to do is break into the studios and get her out. Walk in the park. Right? Let's see if I can get some outside help with this. So we can have the stun gun on default. The musket is the most pointless weapon in GTA. It's there for the nostalgia. Other than that, the gun has no benefits. It's what they were using in the Civil War, which took forever to reload because they had to use a special stick to load the gunpowder in it. Like, Nobody in this day and age, they'll buy it for the nostalgia and the historical, you know, significance, but they're not going to use it for, like, home defense, if you think about it. I guess you can't default the stun gun, but you can have the flare gun? What is up with that? What's the point of that? Yeah, it's pointless.
One more time, and now do go in alone. Okay. So we got a dealer celebrity that's a tax delinquent. Typical Vinewood. They got guarded There's always security, security you know. at the studio, so figure out how to get on set without attracting too much attention. They got costumes all over the place in there, right? If you throw one on, everyone will just think you're one of the staff. I'd go with a catering uniform personally. That would help you get onto the lot. Oh, I bet if you look like a technician, that'd get you even for... Like you Hold on. on. What if you dressed up like you were in Masquerade Murder Party? Get in through the trailer. Probably gonna try to get in. Cause when I get in the trailer, that's when I put on the costume.
for the sky. Pig roast. Who doesn't love a pig roast? Oh, there it is. Get some of this! Get back! Screw you! Holy shit! Get, get out! out! Someone help!
This shit. Are you trying to get shot? Fuck you! You motherfucker! Look at the guys running on fire. Trailers are there. Motherfucker! 
Yes. This is getting frustrating. Okay, this is one of them. This might be it. Thanks for the follow. Black Double O Raven. Welcome to the stream. How's your day going? Depending on what part of the continent, or what part of the world you're on what part of the globe you are. I intend to take this target alive. And this is a most wanted target. Find the office. The office is obviously not a trailer. So it's got to be. It's definitely not the food stand either. So it's up here. Okay, there's a guard here. the stairs. Okay. Hacking time. <laughs> this one's a no-brainer given if you ever played the main story of GTA Online Grand Theft Auto 5 I mean
right. This is the curtain call for Cleo Slum. Let's get those washed up tax cheating actors. Oh, oh, make sure I don't kill her. So grab a souvenir of cinematic value.
shit. What are you gonna do to me? Oh my god! Oh, oh we found I'll her. Kill you. I found her. Positively identifying. Fuck you! Oh, wait. I think that's her. Oh my god, please don't fucking. Ugh. He's got a beat on You got her. She... That's what it looks like. Stunned on all the action. You fucking piece of shit! You oh, motherfucker! Please, don't shoot! Oh, Jesus! You I'm trying to intimidate. Oh my god! Nobody didn't foul this out. time failing hope I got the checkpoint Got her. That's a kid Ugh, one of my jealous coasters oh, called oh, Dead Day. Let's go find the. Uh... You got her oh, yet? Shit. Just let me know, and I'll get the van down there. Look at the Subi. Oh, 
Where's the sous -vide? Go, Starlet. We're about to have an escort. Bring her back here. I'm gonna ask her to sound the cell wall. Just a little something to inspire our future bounties. No way. murder party had so much potential too. It made no sense, obviously, but my agent said none of the really artsy projects do. That's why they're the best fit for me. I'm not like deep or whatever. Deep as in deep shit. As a tax man. So far, when it comes to bagging the most wanted, I can't go to real jail for this business. And can I switch my thingy to house arrest, please? I honestly have I'm to say to I've not failed these, really except for the small potatoes shit. bounties. I have failed. I failed two of them, one for each uh, character avatar of mine. Yeah, what else is new? Right. Here's your dressing room. <laughs> so that was an inside joke. There was no souvenir to collect. Psst. Go fuck yourself. Excuse me, I'm trying to work. Ugh. Sure. Famous, I'll be pissed. We should be the stars of whatever dramatized docu series comes out of this shit show. Sure. <laughs> You're just jealous. I can tell. La la la, I'm not listening. Meanwhile, she's being processed. Worth one hundred twenty-four thousand dollars. This is the one I actually killed off. Hey, did you see the articles about this one? This bitch is wanted for fraud, embezzlement, a bunch of crazy shit. She bragged about driving a Pegasi through her business rival's window and taking a dump on their desk. 
She left out the part where she hit a receptionist. <laughs> nice PR move there. <laughs> If you're going after Bridget Foster, then you need to know there's two things she's famous for. One, her massive freaking mansion. Two, her massive freaking attitude. <laughs> With charges of fraud, embezzlement, and running over an assistant, she's gonna take some convincing. Well, I'm in the convincing business. First, I need to get some armor. Hey, man! What's good, dude? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, right down the street. Perfect. Good place to put a bail bonds business. Right. Kitty corner and right across, right down the street from ammunition. That's perfect. That's convenient. You need a receipt for taxes? <laughs> So we're going to the Beverly Kilo Hills Man? or Richmond. So played out, homie. Slow down. Jesus. Up in the hills. Actually not. Right down the street. Smash up her accoutrement. It's 
Enough for you. Hey, prick, got a problem? I'll kill you. your home furnishings. Hey! Get the hell out of here! You can't be around here! What do you think you're doing here? Listen up, dick! Is there a problem? Get down! Yeah. Get down! said before in the previous stream I'm enjoying the DLC despite the uh, I guess mixed reviews the same thing could be said about any other you got something to say to me preceding DLC what's your fucking problem Not the same amount of uh, reception oh, no! if not less if not more what the fuck do you want you fucking penis changing clips Getting crispy burned. You can't be here, it's restricted. Put up your ass, huh? Fucking Tell that to a judge. You aren't supposed to be down here? What the fuck is it with you? Now come on out. Hey, if she's not moving, you could cut the power. Mark my words, she won't stay in there for long. Not without her home comforts. Physically cut the power. Oh, bolt cutters. Mm -hmm. Just can't shoot at it, I guess. Ah, I'm on fire. It has to be like a work area. Okay, here we go. Yeah. This will get her out. In actuality, bounty hunters can only do so much. 
some of them would, would constitute them breaking the law, especially when it comes to the handling of a, of a skip or questionable tactics that can come under fire. All right, come on out, Songbird. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney president. You have the right to have an attorney president. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided for you at the court's expense. You're from Texas, huh? Black double. How is it over there? I'm from Georgia. What do you think of the DLC? Have you downloaded it? Have you experienced it? Let me know in the chat. Oh, I'm gonna fuck you up! Oh, I'm so scared! Love their boss so much that they had to come after her this way. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> you won't be staying here. Said it's a nice, cozy holding cell for you, Miss Bridget. Glad that you like it. I like it too. I had to say with both gaming avatars, I happened to lose a couple of bounties by mistake of using you the wrong weapon. You are dead. I'm gonna kill you. But it's okay. They're not the major bounties like uh, the one I like the two I captured. I've watched gaming live streams of this DLC content in which they've accidentally killed the most wanted bounties. One of them actually blew up one of the helicopters that you, that was supposed to be coming to a rescue and it ended up torturing her in the process. It was funny to see them unfortunately kill off a high dollar bounty. When I just end up with the small potatoes bounties where I accidentally kill them. Not intentionally. Yeah, I know. It's either to the bail bonds office or to the morgue. And you lose a, a chunk of money if you bring them back dead, of course. So what part of Texas are you from, Black Double O Raven? Yeah. I only got two women in there. Idiot! Bridget Foster is here. Oh, there goes the money. Cha ching! I just love hearing them complain about the predicament they are in. What do you I think like of uh, you know that? Mod Echoes' <laughs> annoying damage. daughter, well, and but a lot useful of daughter? Damage, but that's just part of the game, right? And luckily with this DLC, there's no, it is not, it's not necessarily story driven, like the contract where you have to get back Dr. Dre's music in case you haven't played it. 
but this one is just a weekly thing, just like the uh, Yusuf Amir chop you know, shop Ma business. Says the Eccles family always had it's just reoccurring. <laughs> but if you go back far enough, who's hunting and who's hiding starts to get real blurry. So Jeanette Eccles is really annoying. And I believe the mother knows it too. But I do like her snarky humor though. Apart from her being annoying. But to me, by the way, who's the most annoying character in GTA Online to you? Mine is Laszlo. But then there's Sasanta and KDJ, but they really take the cake when it comes to annoying side characters in the GTA. What do you think? But this is the one with the other gaming avatar I actually killed all mistakenly. Oh, Lester? Yeah, he can be annoying. But he's the good kind of annoying. Me is uh, Laszlo. Especially with the nightclub business. He's always doing some dumb, ridiculous, douchey stuff. I just wish you could have the option of firing him and having security dump him in a dumpster, throw him in a dumpster. So I'll probably come back to these later and just do some dispatch work. By the way, what do you think of the new vehicles? Don't make me break out the stun gun. That'll shut you up. Oh yeah, that new uh, hybrid luxury supercar. Now I'm gonna hold off for the major vehicles. But there's, for all I know, there's the only known drip-fed DLC that's about to come out in the coming weeks our new vehicles and of course there's a new weapon a stun baton of some kind I saw I didn't and unfortunately didn't drop this week but next week the stun baton might show up so be on the lookout for that but anyway here's the vehicle I got. and since this character didn't have a vehicle to do dispatch work I decided to bite the bullet and get the uh, Dorado SUV as you saw but I love how it lights up see that Yep, exactly. As for the other vehicles, I'm not going to bother with them. Now, some people, if they've got the GTA dollars, they'll buy all the vehicles. I won't. That'd be like trying to buy minivans and station wagons just because you can. But other than that, they don't serve any, you know. Officer, be advised. Oh, here we go. I've intercepted calls detailing a possible threat. For some reason, the LSPD are not dispatching units. Can you investigate? Most certainly can. Copy that. Sending you the location of the last transmission we received. What I don't like is going off to far off location. Okay, lesson time. Los Santos Business 101. What do you do when your company is failing and you need to bail out fast? You hire outsiders to rig your facility, blow an irreparable hole in production, take the insurance money, and then take off. And of course, you can count on the crooked cops to keep things hushed up. Oldest trick in the LS book. I need you to find and deactivate the explosives before they detonate. Oh, Teach those okay. reprobates business isn't that straightforward. Yeah, it's like what in one of those restaurants, right? 
and then they're gonna hire some actor to burn it down so they can collect on the insurance. That's nothing new. You hear a lot about it. About that. Like there was this nightclub owned, big time nightclub owner at the time back in the 70s and 80s and probably not so much in the 90s. Like have you ever heard of the movie Boogie Nights? Oh yeah, I love the Gauntlet Interceptor. I got that with the fucking doorway because that was the only police vehicle that you could get. That was, uh, you know, strip fit, but you gotta do, finish the, of course, the main story of the DLC with Vincent, with the oddest last name ever. So I got that for the other avatar and I'm able to do dispatch work. So I don't necessarily need to get any additional police vehicles. But anyway, in the film Buggy Nights, which was loosely based off of real life stories, one of this was an, if you can call an actor who was known for having the largest organ in the industry, but then he fell on, you know, being addicted to cocaine and he ended up mixing it in with the wrong crowd. And unfortunately, he had consequences where he was accused and charged with quadruple murder and then one count of attempted murder. But the person that owned the nightclubs all over LA was a guy named Eddie Nash, who in the movie is a character called Raha Jackson, which is based off of Eddie Nash. Well, he would hire somebody to set fire to one of his businesses so he can collect on the insurance. But he was never convicted and he also bribed judges as well as uh, potential witnesses. But this dude had about 36, what is that, liquor licenses and a $30 million fortune. But all he did was snort pre-based uh, cocaine all day. And you look it up, this guy has an interesting story. And he only, he died like about 10 years ago. I mean, but it's like they say that Laurel Canyon in Los Angeles, California, is cursed. Where there's a lot of tragedies, like for example, the Manson family murders of Sharon Tate and her friends, and then of course the infamous Wonderland murders. And then there's also the movie Wonderland with Val Kilmer playing uh, John Holmes, the, uh, the poked out adult film star known for having a, a huge penis. So he ends up with the wrong crowd and getting, char got, getting charged but not convicted of a quadruple murder. And he goes down by the dreaded AIDS virus. Well, this is somewhat of a long distance, at least it's not up in Blaine County. And by the way, where is your uh, bail bonds business? If you don't mind me asking, where's it located? I hope, uh, and you more than likely did not put it at the top of the map. It's a stupid place to put a business. And most people will attest to that. Okay, here we go. Disable the explosives before the time runs out. So I got five minutes to do it. So let's case the location. So I guess logic, oh wait. Why would these people in the B where the bombs are about to go off? I don't get that. They must want to blow up with the explosives. Oh, this doesn't set them off. Yeah, 
Yeah. Because with my two avatars, one's in downtown Vinewood, while the other one is in Davis, which I believe is content. Straight in the hood. These people out first, I guess. Grab that son of a bitch! Oh, wow. This is interesting. Two down, one more to go. Looks like the missions don't seem to be too repetitive. This is the third dispatch mission. So I guess I do two more on lock something. But then again, I already got my vehicle, my police vehicle. So there's that. Switching it. Done. I need to stop at the nearest ammunition. Haven't found the gun van yet.
So far, I haven't seen any new outfits. Actually, the outfits I did see were didn't look anything like something that a bounty hunter would wear. It didn't look like bounty hunter, bail enforcement, you know, protective paraphernalia for gear. Just some lousy blouses. But then again, I'm gonna go check out the store. And I realize there's a convenience factor when it comes to choosing these uh, locations for the bail bonds business. I'm like right down the street from ammunition as well as the clothing store. So that's convenience for me. Make an adjustment here. Aha. Sorry. So do you do any streaming of your own? See if there's any additional offers. I really need a snack. All I've eaten today is romaine lettuce. Hmm. They're being skimped with these outfits, I guess.
This feels so old fashioned, buying clothes in person rather than online. Oh, you don't stream, okay. Whatever reason, I understand. I guess they didn't put any thought in putting any good apparel in the DLC. I wish they had better hairstyles, especially for ethnic. No. Get down. Get down, sucker. I just wanted to do that. I'm gonna take a short break. I'll be back with the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel with the live stream of Grand Theft Auto Online Bottom Down Bottom Dollar Bounties. I'll be back.
Okay, I'm back. Once again, I'm killed a bit for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And I'm back with the stream of GTA Online, the bottom dollar bounties DLC. This is Gaming Livestream Walkthrough Episode 2. So, I'm using the second avatar. And I have just been making a lot of uh, headway with catching the bounties. And when it comes to the major bounties, I haven't failed those where I now don't end up with a corpse to get paid sure. for. And you do take a huge pay cut if you bring back the bounty dead. Y'all right? So I, of course I prefer sure alive, and I'm sure you do too if you've got this DLC. Hey there. Okay, I gather the safe will probably hold up to a hundred thousand dollars, depending on this, the size of it. Now, if you were doing the savage yard business with Yusuf Amir's uh, nephew, your safe can hold up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I'm sure it's the same. If not the opposite when it comes to a safe looking like this would hold a hundred grand because it's the same type of safe actually at the arcade. Now I'm gonna get into a different lobby. So of course this will be the last hour of the stream. And I'll be back on tomorrow at a different time. Probably at noon. Like noon to three tomorrow. And what's unique, as I mentioned at the top of this stream, that this DLC isn't episodic. So it's going to be ongoing in it. Doesn't mean there's like some connected storyline elements to GTA Online, unlike the contract or Cayo uh, Padico. Okay. This one's a passenger princess in a big bad biker gang. But considering the kidnapping charges against her, this was the I NPC that, that lost bounty that lost actually is just killed a act. with the other GTA Online avatar. This time, I ain't trying to foul this one up. No matter how hairy it gets. I sent you Pierce's usual hangout. Now, we're only interested in her and her kidnapping and assault charges, but I'd be surprised if she's alone here. It's a clubhouse. You know what clubhouses are. It's where biker gangs go to get high, throw darts, and break each other's arms. Oh, it's a far distance, so... With that... I had to take a different vehicle. So I'm gonna take my sparrow. Uh 
Don't you stop it. Don't stop the music. You do these bounty hunter missions where you acquire somebody dead or alive they'll send waves of enemies to come after you I'm hoping they're all mostly on motorcycles because I can just stop and cause them to crash or I can just run them off the road that way it's just funny to me or you can do what people typically do is pop them when they're on their motorcycles deadly case of road rash. go. Party time. Get your sorry ass out of here! No! 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 Oh no. This is going to have worse time. I have to reboot the game. I might have to reboot the game. Looks like I'm gonna have to reboot the game, so stick with me. 
This is the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Bear with me. Spectacular fight, my lady. My friends, cheer as loud as you might for our new champion.
Okay, we have visual. This is going to be the last 30 minutes of the stream for today, and I will resume at 12 noon to 3 on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Thank everyone for joining me, including Black Double O Raven. Thanks for the follow. I'll be sure to follow your channel. But then again, you told me you don't stream, but just in case you do, I'll follow anyway. Bottom dollar bail enforcement. Hate that I always had to do this. So let's do one last bounty. rolling and dugging money. Still doesn't stop him committing insurance fraud. Burned down an apartment he was renting out. Burned the tenant's dog with it. Typical Ooh. dugging if you ask me. This guy's a scumbag. All right, there's a bar in town with fraudster Bill Duggan's name on the deed. Used to run a business out back. Was shut down years ago, but word is there's still plenty of football around there, so color me curious.
William Duggan. We are a bail enforcement agency. You are under arrest for FTA and other associated crimes. Surrender yourself. Happen to be bastards, from what I hear. It's like the firing range. what you do. Have a seat. Oh, shit. You piece of shit. Inbred Time moron. to be tactical. You piece of shit. Inbred moron. 
They're back. They're like Batman when it comes to. You piece of shit. Hiding their actual locations. Inbred moron. Must be a trap door or something. You piece of shit. See, it's obviously a front. Stuff is still on pallets. Inbred moron! Wouldn't it be good? Oh, here we go. You piece of shit! Yep. Yep, told you. Inbred moron! Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Toasty. All right, I'll sit you straight. Yeah, I want you alive. Bye bye. I'm taking you in. I'm taking you in. Got your car for you, Duggan. You got him? Then let's get him locked up here before his people come after him. Get me the hell out of here! Wouldn't it be good? that song the other day. There's a melody pop feeling to it. I think it's from late 80s, early 90s. Much like Glass Tiger's one hit wonder, don't forget me while I'm gone. What you can back bad because you cut the checks. They can't copyright mm humming. -hmm. Or whistling. Because it could be anything. I need out of here right now. Don't worry, you'll be out of here and into a nice, cozy holding cell. Until you see the judge. I guess I'm gonna do a vehicle sale and then I'll close out the stream here you go mr. Duggan enjoy the not so quaint accommodations Piece of shit. Ah, shut up. here's to the Duggins <laughs> keeping us busy <laughs> Their father is in ha is not hacksaw Jim Duggan, do it. of course. You know. Oh! 
I got six bail office bounties. Good weekly challenge within a day. Within a 24 hour period, I guess. Since the release yesterday. So, once again, you know, I'm. Says the Eccles family always had bounties in their blood. But if you go back far enough, who's hunting and who's hiding starts to get real blurry. Well, they must have been high then. Or inebriated, inebriated, I guess. It, if that's how you say it. Comfy in there. Take care now. Hey. So I'm about to part with one of my vehicles, not this one, of course. Call my mechanic. Through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? It's on the way. Okay, I got stuff to do. Hate to have to part with this vehicle, but hey, I need bread. Get the sound out of my head. Wouldn't it be good be on your side? To do the trick. Uh, not gonna get much for her. Huh? Nah, I'll keep it. Switch it for something else. Kind of not wanted to part with it anyway, so let's try something else. So it's the last five minutes of the stream. I want to thank everyone for joining me, specifically Black Double O Raven. Thanks for following me. See if I can initiate a raid.
You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Voce. I was saying, how are you? No. Whatever, don't worry about it. Hello. You know you're right, honey. It's time I told you who your father was. I guess I got nothing to trade up, so forget it. I'll get there as soon as I can. I'll get back to it then. Looks like that's gonna do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto Online, the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC. Be on the lookout for episode 3 at about a different time tomorrow at noon from noon to 3. Until then, I'm Kill the Bit for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And if you haven't done so already, consider following me 
and subscribing to me on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel here. Until then, I'm Kill the Vid from the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, and please stay safe.